Goodbye. Welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain News, your daily cryptocurrency blockchain aggregated news show on YouTube. Look, look, it's going to be drinking. Look, look, it's going to be smoking. Look, look, it's going to be swearing. <laughs> Holy look, look. You've been fucking warned. So look, look. Here coming three, look, two, look, one. Bye. Welcome, everybody. Black, white, look, gay, straight, yep. Christian, Muslim, Jew, daggone right. My name is Shamar Clark. Welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain News. The greatest show on earth. The greatest show in the multiverse. Bah! Greatest show in the daggone multiverse. Holy, we got some shit today. We got, we got, we got greatness. We got some more greatness for you. Daggone. <laughs> I know the, I was right, so first of all, look. Ah, we got the greatness. Look, look. Chain link. Chain link to the rescue. Oh, where's my lighter? Oh, okay. I thought I was going to have to start the show over. <laughs> All right. Chain link on boards RSK. We're going to talk about that. That's some sort of side chain Bitcoin thing. Look. And then here we go, baby. Here we come. Here we go. We're getting right into it. I had other onboardings. I was like, yo, fuck this. We're going to talk about some investment vehicles. Look, look, Bitcoin ETP to be listed on Swiss, German, and Austrian exchanges. Yeah. No, not Bittrex, not Bitmex, not crackhead stuff. On the actual exchanges of the... That's like being listed on the New York Stock Exchange. What, Shamari? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to tell you all about it. And I'm going to tell you all about it right, right, right now. That's what we're going to do around these parts tonight. Look. And then here's another... Exchange listing. Singapore exchange lists crypto indices. Bye! what I tell you? I told you they were coming. I told you. Told you, brothers. Look, look. Here comes our money. Here comes the institutional grade shit. Enterprise level. Institutional grade. Look. Let me fix myself up here. Then I'll be at dag on. Dag, yeah. So look. Let's get going, brothers and sisters. Let's get down and learn some of this dang on money talk. Look. Whoops, wrong one. Bang. That's what I meant to do. Then we go with a little bit of look, look. Over here. Bang. Oh, that urine thing still flew this weekend, huh? Dang God, that motherfucker. Yo, that thing was worth garbage, nothing in I think I think March or April. Fuck, if you, if you bought that shit at like 10 cents, oh my gosh. There's some boys out there laughing their asses off. Anyways. Look, look. All right, price of Bitcoin. Let's let's just proceed how we proceed. What do we at here? Bitcoin. $11,898. And when I left you on Saturday, we were at $11,621. So we've gone up. Three hundred and sixty-eight dollars. All right, bye. Great. All right, top ten of the day, brothers. Look, usual suspects. Top ten: Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, Tether, Chainlink, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, Bitcoin SV, Binance Coin, and Crypto.com Coin. Let's see market moves of the day. Usual song: single digits up to single digits down. Oh, beverages here. Single digits up, single digits down. Oh, what was that news today? Hold on, hold on. Oh, Tron. Fucking Tron. There, there it is. Tron, dag on it. Good boy. Fucking Sonny, Justin Sun, finally getting his act together. He's getting that DeFi going. Oh, yeah, Band. Band Protocol is heading on over there. They're going to team up and do some DeFi. Way to see that kid grow up. Holy. Fucking video games and gambling all the time. Got a perfectly good blockchain wasting it. Look. And now it looks like he's getting his act together. All right, single digits up, single digits down. Single digits up, single digits. There's urine right there. $31,000. <laughs> Holy. Imagine you got in at 10 cents. Oh, my gosh. Single digits up, single digits down. Two single digits up, two single digits down. All right. Let's see who lost money today. You see anything on here you like? Go get it because it's on sale. Let's 
I see who we're working with. I want some pretty decent sales right around these parts. Mm -hmm. All right, top 10 losers. BZX Protocol, Aragon, Swipe, Nervous Network, Synthetics Network, Waves, Solana, Ampleforth, and Kyber Network, and Yearn Finance. Let's see who made money today, brothers and sisters. Bye. Holy, who the fuck? Oh, that DFL money shit again? Look at this motherfucker right here. Remember, that was the one that was up like 300 and something percent on for the Saturday show. Now they're up another 100. That, holy, all these DeFi coins are just going crazy. Oh, there's Band Protocol, right? All right, so first of all, top 10 gainers of the day. DFL money, Flexicoin, Band Protocol, Tron, Binance Coin, Ethereum, EOS, NEM, Decentraland, and Bitcoin Cash. Yeah, that same DFL money thing. Holy, all these DeFi coins, man, are just blowing up crazily. I mean, I'm in it for the long term, but I'm almost tempted just, you know, just maybe take a grand and throw it at one of these things and see what happens. <laughs> you know, like on some super, super cheap one that just comes out or something. Just see what happens. I don't know. We'll see. But I probably won't. All right. Uh, told Mark Cap of the day, brothers and sisters. Look. Don't go chasing those profits. Don't, you know, like in... Uh, you know, don't chase the move. In the Forks market, we say, don't chase the move. If you missed the move, all right, you missed it. Just go on and look for the next move. <laughs> Urgh, don't chase those moves. Yeah, that's how those people got thrashed in 2017. They all bought in at the end of 2017 when, we, when, everyone, when it was a big old bubble going on. Yeah, well, there were weak hands. They didn't understand. Uh-oh, this thing could pop. And when it popped, yes, <laughs> yes. That's called chasing profits. You don't do that. All right, guys. Uh, total mark cap is three hundred eighty-eight point three billion dollars. When I left you on, oh well, all right. When I left you on Saturday, it was three eighty-seven point nine, so it's gone up point four billion dollars. Boom! Look at that volume. That's the volume I'm talking about. Dang, God, these volumes fluctuate wildly. All right, twenty-four hour volume, one hundred and thirty-two point eight billion dollars. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. So I like it. All right, $132.8 billion. When I left you on Saturday, we were at $88.3 billion. So we have gone up. What is that? Uh, what is that? What is that? Hold on. 50. No. Oh, $44 billion. All right. Bye. Great. All right, let's get to this money talk. <laughs> Here comes that loot. And here it comes, baby. Here it comes. And I'm going to show you right now. First, let's do this chain link, and then let's get to these. Oh, man. I have so much more news. Today, I was just like, fuck. What do I talk about? And so we're going to talk about the mega money first. But there's more onboardings and stuff. Chainlink has another onboarding I'm going to talk about tomorrow. Oh, yeah. And VeChain's numbers are way up. The transactions on the chain. Shit. Bye. Okay, first of all, Chainlink. Lands on Bitcoin sidechain RSK with new integration. Look, look. Chain link to the rescue. Chain link to the rescue. All right. Chain link's going to rescue another one. And this is deeper than just, just the price stuff. Um, I don't know if it's this article or another one, but this RSK thing is going to use it. Use VChain. Uh, not VChain. Sorry, 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 sorry. Chain link. Chain link. They're going to use Chainlink for, like, IoT stuff, Internet of Things, um, uh, distributed apps. So more. Like, it's not just, like, Chainlink keeps doing these oracles for these smart contracts, but it's going to be used for more. All right. Uh, so let me get a sip, and then we'll proceed. Oh, hey, Chainlink. Oh, man, and speaking of Chainlink, hold on. <laughs> Zeus Capital. So there's this company, Zeus Capital. They're trying to. They're trying to do a short on Chainlink. They came out with another thing this weekend, telling everybody, you better get out now before it's too late. Like, now they're desperate. Now they're just, they're not even giving a report anymore. They're just saying, get out before it's too late. These guys are losing so much money, right? And, you know, the whole premise of their 
their little report was that chain link was fake. Right? That it was just a pump and dump and that the onboardings weren't real. Like as if the company just came out was lying about them or something. <laughs> well, unfortunately for Zeus Capital, these onboardings are all too real. <laughs> these are all too real, brother. Look, Zeus. Man, those guys are taking a bath. All right, uh, let's get to our story, though. That's so hilarious. I, I just love it because it's the worst short I've ever seen in my life. Like, I've seen shorts a hundred times more, believe me. I'm sure. And and you have to attack a company that actually is bad, right? Like, and then everyone will jump in and short it with you, and then it drives the price down and everyone makes money, right? But you can't short something that keeps onboarding fucking companies every other <laughs> you know that'd be like me you know uh or you anyway you know i'm trying to give you another example just like it, it'd be like it'd be like saying uh hey let's short mcdonald's because they're running out of beef and so they're not going to be able to serve hamburgers meanwhile mcdonald's just keeps filling their fridges with beef like what are you talking about we have plenty of beef Right, you keep trying to convince people you're never going to get a hamburger there. McDonald's is like, we're serving up burgers anytime you want. So the reality is not syncing up with the, with their report. All right, all right. So let's just move on. Let's just go do this though. Oh, Zeus Capital, those fuck sticks. What a bunch of losers. Now's not the time to be shorting shit in this space. Wait till the it matures a little bit. Anyways, okay, we'll get to the shorting and stuff down the road. All right, so listen up. Bitcoin sidechain, RSK, will soon be equipped with Chainlink oracles, enabling developers on the smart contract-enabled blockchain to tap into market price feeds and other off-chain data to build their applications. The integration is being developed by IOV Labs, the company behind the RSK sidechain. It is currently live on testnet and is expected to be launched on mainnet in less than a month. Oh, speaking of getting launched... Well, yeah, today's, today's September 1st. What did the Europeans say? They want to bring out their crypto regs this September. The full thing. Oh, yeah, get ready, guys. Get ready. Any moment now, any moment now, we could hear, boom, Europe comes out with their, you know, the regs. <laughs> accumulate, accumulate, accumulate. All right. Uh, test it and blah, blah, blah. So chain link data will be ported to RSK via RIF gateways an interoperability framework that is designed to let developers access a broad array of data from other blockchains and the external world. That's what I was telling you. Yeah, it's a broad array. So usually we read about, so this probably isn't the story, so I'm just going to tell it to you. Usually we read about Chainlink because Chainlink is huge in this DeFi thing. All these guys, all those DeFi guys are getting their prices from Chainlink, most of them, right, on the Ethereum blockchain. And so... Um, but I want to hear more and more from Chainlink, not just fucking the prices, but other data. And that's what this is going to do. Uh, they're going to bring, I just told you, Internet of Things data on this thing, on the, cha on the chain or whatever this thing is going to be or whatever. Um, they're going to bring, um, just all sorts of other data. It's not just price data, right? Okay. I'll tell you, that's what I want to see from Chainlink, and that's what they're doing. They're bringing in more than just price data. So the system also makes use of the risk, sorry, RSK to Ethereum bridge that enables link token transfers between the two ecosystems. Okay. So Julian Rodriguez, head of Rift Gateways, told Cointelegraph that this allows Chainlink node operators to be compensated with any token in the Ethereum blockchain. If they wish to be compensated in Link, they can. They just need to go through the bridge to get those redeemed. Rodriguez said, hold on a second. Rodriguez said that with this integration, uh, developers can capitalize on a smart contract network that's anchored to the strongest proof of work blockchain. RSK is a Bitcoin uh, sidechain that uses a pegged version of Bitcoin as its native currency. 
While the PEG process is facilitated by a federation that maintains custody, similar to solutions adopted by WBTC or Liquid, its blockchain piggybacks off Bitcoin existing mining cap capacity through merge mining. All right. So the company has recently been pursuing the goal of Bitcoin DeFi to capitalize on the boom of lending D apps and decentralized exchanges that occurred primarily on Ethereum. Not occurred, occurring primarily on Ethereum. It features its own lending protocol that generates a stable coin called Money on Chain, which uses RSK's uh, BTC for protocol. So while Chainlink oracles are widely used in DeFi, many projects still prefer to roll their own. The RSK integration could simplify development on the platform with an off-the-shelf solution, with Rodriguez saying that uh, it made a lot of sense for RSK to include Chainlink as one of the Oracle technologies. RSK's security and functionality relies on Bitcoin, but it is still a separate network with a different architecture that heavily focuses on smart contracts. All right. So, seeking to capitalize on its generalized scripting capabilities, the project recently started branching out into wider interoperability and enterprise-focused solutions. Nice interoperability. In August, RSK was featured in an energy trading pilot in Los Angeles, powering a circular energy economy experiment. Really? So another enterprise pilot involved a group of Argentinian banks that tapped into RSK technology to improve the efficiency of direct debit transactions. Oh, so RSK is moving, moving and grooving. Look, look. And now they're really moving and grooving because they got Chainlink to the rescue. Chainlink to the rescue. Dag on right, dag on right. And like I said, this this is more than just um, just the price stuff, right? Uh, for for smart contracts, it's going to get information, all this stuff, and it's going to go into distributed apps and well, and smart contracts, and but it's going to be a myriad of data, not just not just price feeds. So I really like to hear that. I want to see Chainlink expanding out into, you know. You know, offering data for all sorts of stuff, whatever, you know, weather conditions. I don't know, whatever. All right. All right. Bye. So Chainlink hodlers. Now they're onboarding. And look, look, Zeus Capital. Hey. <laughs> you guys fucked up. You guys fucked up hard. Look, brothers. Look, Zeus, as a trader. You know, sometimes you got to just cut those losses and ride those winners, homeboy. I think this short position is a loss. I'd cut that shit before you get stopped out. Look! This is one trader to another. Because <laughs> this ain't going to work, buddy. This ain't going to work, boys. You guys are fucked. All right, so let's move on. <laughs> the worst, the worst short ever in the history of all markets. I tell you, dang on, man. In the history. All right, let's move on, guys. So look, all right, now let's get to money talk. Watch this. So, bang, leading stock exchanges in Switzerland, bang, Germany, <laughs> Austria, yes. Now let's Bitcoin ETP. That's right, that's right. That's right, fuck sticks. The stock exchanges, stock exchanges. For Americans, that'd be the equivalent of the NASDAQ and the New York Stock Exchange and the Dow Jones listing some Bitcoin ETPs. Oh, yeah. You see the difference now? You see the difference between buying your Bitcoin from Bittrex, Bitmex, Bitfinex, and buying it off the fucking NASDAQ with the New York Stock Exchange? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, <laughs> hey. Look, look. And that's what this is. So, in other words, let, let's get, let's get, let, let me, let me just say it another way. Uh... Crypto's becoming mainstream now. Here we go. But that's what these exchanges are going to do. Make it mainstream, baby. Like I said, when soccer mom and dad see that little button, oh, and they will. Oh, they will. When they see that little easy little buy button on their E-Trade account, their Charles Schwab account, or wherever country you live in, whatever accounts you got, oh, they will. When they see it on the New York Stock Exchange, the NASDAQ, the German Bourse, the Swiss Six. I don't know what Austria's stock exchange is called, but whatever it is, 
Yeah, those citizens are going to be like, ah, no, that shit's real. Shit's real now. And so this is amazing news. Amazing news. And that's what I told you guys. I told you guys, Bitrex, Bitmex, all that, I think they're going to be gone in about five years. They're not going to be around. These guys, the institutions that they're going to just take this place over. I mean, I've told you that since 2018. <laughs> right? I told you when I used to laugh at these crypto folk. Oh, will you think this place is going to stay like this? No way. No way. This place is going to professionalize. These guys are going to take it all over. Well, the doings of the market part of it. I mean, the, the blockchains are still going to be just run by, you know, the same little tech nerds that run them now. But all these listings and and investment vehicles and all that uh, that are on like BitMEX, Bittrex, Huobi and all that, that's all going to be gone. I think Binance might last. Uh, it'll probably service third world countries, but yeah, like main, like, like where you're, if you're listening to me, you're in an English speaking country. Yeah. Yeah. A couple of years from now, believe me, you're going to be getting your crypto off of whatever exchange it is your country has. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you're in London, yeah, you're going to be getting your shit from the London stock exchange. I mean, if you so choose, I mean, you could probably still get it from Binance. Like the only kind of people who are going to be using Binance and BitMEX and Bittrex and all that kind of shit are just sort of crypto maximalists, like people who sort of believe in this whole, I don't know, just this whole crypto sort of libertarian finance philosophy kind of crap, right? Like those are the kind of people who will will stay doing that, like I, I'm going to be faithful to the Satoshi doctrine or whatever, right? These kind of, they're called maximalists, right? They're just cult members is what i call them and so uh, so cult members will probably still stay on that stuff but this is what you need right here bang this is what you need to get soccer mom and dad in and not only soccer mom and dad but this is going to allow uh we'll read it it says it i believe in this article um uh that um you know investment vehicles real ones real ones <laughs> Real futures contracts, not BitMEX futures. Fucking real ones are going to be like the ones we have here in America. CME futures contracts are going to be are going to be given. Yeah, that'll bring in that deep institutional money from all across Europe. Remember, the European laws are coming out this week. Uh, sorry, sorry, this month. Wow, they said they want to do it this month, right? You know how politicians are. Don't be surprised if it comes out in October, but it's coming, though. Soon, not next year. Soon, like this year. And this is what you want to see. You want to see cryptos. You want to see, uh, what do you call it, digital assets on real stock exchanges. So let's take a look. Oh, can you guys see this above my head? Hold on, let me look. Yeah, yeah, you see right above my head? Chains link, dude, that, yeah, that's Zeus Capital. They, <laughs> they said they've doubled down on their doomsday prediction. That's what I was just talking about. All oh, those guys, they're so screwed. Anyways, let's move on. We're not going to read about them. We just laugh at them a little bit and move on. Oh. So, a Bitcoin exchange traded product by... 21 shares is now listed on leading stock exchanges in three countries. Switzerland, bang, Germany, bang, and Austria, bang. The company offers 11 cryptocurrency exchange-traded investment products in total. Growing number of stock exchanges list Bitcoin, by exactly, the stock exchanges now. The real exchanges, your country's real exchanges are about to start listing stuff, okay? That's the real. That's the real. That's what's necessary. So, Zug-based, 21 shares announced Tuesday that its Bitcoin exchange-traded product, ETP, has been admitted to Wienerbors, sorry, sorry, Wienerbors, the Vienna Stock Exchange, with this latest listing, the company wrote, the largest exchange in each of the three DACH, Germany, Austria, and Switzerland countries have now admitted a Bitcoin ETP, 
This achievement further demonstrates institutional, look, look, and more importantly, regulatory acceptance of the emergent dyslexia class. Look, look, regulatory acceptance. That's it, that's it. This is the real deal. Here it comes. Here it comes. The 21 shares Bitcoin exchange traded product called ABTC are passported into Austria and other op- into Austria and authorized for distribution for both retail and institutional investors using a familiar and widely accepted financial structure. Bah! Exactly, widely accepted. Like I said, it's like putting putting Bitcoin on a, someone's E-Trade account here in America or their Charles Schwab trading account. Like, bang, bang, one little button. Look, look, soccer mom, just one little button. <laughs> look, look, ABTC is trading on the, the six. Well, so first of all, I think this is, a, this is a fund. So, I mean, let's, this isn't just buying Bitcoin. It's a fund. All right, let's be a little more realistic. ABTC is trading on the six exchange. We already know that. In USD euros, Swiss francs, and British pounds. It was admitted to Frankfurt-based Deutsche Börse, etc. for trading in euros in July. According to the 21 shares website, the product can also be found on the Boy Stuttgart and BX Swiss. So in addition, the company announced Monday that its short Bitcoin ETP has been admitted to the Deutsche Börse, etc. for euros listings. This investment product is also listed on the Switzerland-based six, six, six Swiss exchange in US dollars and Boy Stuttgart in euros. All right. Lauren Ksis, uh, managing director of 21 Shares, in charge of the application with Deutsche Börse, commented, We have lobbied carefully but vigorously with the exchange to be in a position to launch the world's first centrally cleared short Bitcoin ETP on a regulated trading venue. Regulated. That's the difference. That's the difference. BitMEX, Bittrex, all that shit, that's not regulated. And so uh, institutions, well, first of all, they wouldn't use it. They don't trust that shit. But even if they... Well, so first of all, they wouldn't, and 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 second of all, it you know they're waiting for the big dog. Uh, well, okay, hold on, hold on, sorry. And second of all, they're not allowed to. That's what I mean to say. Sorry, sorry. Secondly, they're not allowed. If I'm a hedge fund, I'm not allowed to take my client's money and trade it on some unregulated exchange. You're not allowed to do that. You get arrested. Yeah, you know what I mean. You get sued and everything. Like you'll be fucked up. And so that's what I'm telling you. Like. You know, that's the big thing. Once once this stuff is all regulated and licensed, that's when the big dogs all get to get here. That's when they get to unleash their clients' money. And like I told you, you don't think their analysts are, 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 are looking at this space right now? Of course they are. They're just waiting to get their grubby little hands on it. Right? They're just not allowed. Right? They're not allowed to trade on Coinbase or some shit like this. Not allowed to do that. Right? And so... Um, that's the beauty of stuff like this is, um, well, it brings institutional money into the space. All right. So the 21 shares Bitcoin ticker SBTC seeks to provide a one-time return to the performance of Bitcoin for a single day. This product obtains short exposure through borrowing Bitcoin and simultaneously selling it on the execution on an execution platform. The company explained on its website, <clears throat> SBC is an innovative financial instrument that allows investors to gain exposure to the negative price movement of Bitcoin. The announcement clarified. All right. So it looks like these are what 21 shares. Hold on. What is this? 21 shares cryptocurrency exchange. Product. So this is what they offer. So single assets. So if you want to. I guess get it, get, you know, just move the, uh, sorry, make money just off price moving up or down, you go right there. If you just want to short Bitcoin, you can go there. And then indexes, these are uh, funds, <laughs> a HODL fund. <laughs> That's funny. And, you know, I'm sure that they have different coins in them, right? So, I don't know. All right. So, with over $100 million in total listed assets under management, the company offers 11 varied crypto exchange traded products. Six of them are single asset products, tracking the price of Bitcoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, Ripple, Binance, Coin, and Tezos. 
Only one product, SBTC, is an inverse ETP. That means they, the inverse ETP, you make money when Bitcoin goes down. Uh, the company also offers four index ETPs. Crypto Basket Index, Bitcoin Swiss Index, Signum Platform Winner Index, and Bitwise Select 10. All right, come on, come on. Is this enough or what? All right, 21 Shares AG is a Swiss company registered in Switzerland's canton of Zug with offices in Zurich, New York City, and Berlin. Yeah. Its ETPs were previously called Amen ETPs, but their names were changed in March. Remember, we used to read about them last year. They were called Amen AG. Now, the entire suite of Levering Crypto ETPs is listed on a regulated framework on the official market of Deutsche Börse, Six Exchange, BX Swiss, and some on Borse Stuttgart in CHF, USD, and GBP and Euro, re respectively. Uh, the company noted, all of the 21 shares crypto ETPs can be purchased via any broker or bank with access to the exchange the products traded on. So, bang, all right. So there it is, there it is, leading stock exchanges, real, real stock exchanges are, uh, here it is, man, starting to list your crypto. And so, like I said, uh, you know, the day, the day that we hear, you know, um, you know, the day, the day that we hear. Sorry, man. Microsoft is telling me they're about to restart my computer. Hold on. This is such bullshit. All right. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Anyways, so um, I hate when it, Microsoft does that. It just ruined my train of thought. And so... um. Yeah, so that's it. That this is the real deal. Sorry, sorry, guys. That, um, you know, uh, here they come, like on real exchanges. You know, um, that's the institutional grade. That's what unleashes hedge funds. You know, that's what, well, allows hedge funds to come here. And so, um, you know, we're waiting this for this month. Like they said, like we read about the European Union. Uh, they're coming out with their full crypto regs, uh, rules and regs this month. And so, oh my gosh, bye! And so I was trying to come just be like cool about it, but look, I had to give it a bang. <laughs> but, um, you know, so expecting this fourth quarter here, um, expect a lot of action, guys. Uh, accumulate, accumulate, accumulate. Um, because the German, uh, sorry, sorry. So these things are just Bitcoin. So I should probably state that. Let's get that real. These are, right? Let's get through. Let's get it real. Let's be real about it. These are Bitcoin ETPs. But once Europe comes out with their regs, their rules and regs, this month, it's for the whole market. Ah, uh, yes. Your V chains, your IOTAs, your Stellars, your chain links. And so accumulate, accumulate, accumulate. Because, uh, you know, I think we're about to get all, go off to the races. Uh, all right. Because when you got shit like what I'm about to show you again, watch this. Bang! Singapore Stock Exchange now. The Singapore Stock Exchange. Like, like I'm showing you, real country stock exchanges. Just like the NASDAQ, the New York Stock Exchange, uh, the Dow Jones, <laughs> you know, the Dow. Yeah, the real exchanges now are starting to list crypto. And that's what I'm telling you. Like, all these other little exchanges that have been around from the beginning, they're all going to be gone soon. These guys are going to, these exchanges around the world are just going to do it. Yeah, and the citizens of those countries are, what are you going to do? You know, uh, soccer mom and dad, are you going to trust the Dow Jones listing the Bitcoin <laughs> or Bitmax? Look, just saying. I mean, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe I'm completely wrong. 
somehow I doubt it, but I mean, I don't know. You know, I could see, like I told you, my sister, right? I've been trying to get her to invest in crypto. And, uh, right, I told you about it when I went to Christmas uh, 2018. Right, I was telling her, because remember, Bitcoin was down to like, it was only like 5Gs back then, right? And I was telling her, come on, Rachel, get in, buy it, buy it, buy it. Yeah, she wouldn't listen, right, or do any of that. She doesn't want to do any of that. She's scared of all that. Yeah, but if I was like, yeah, Rachel, buy it, buy it, buy it, and she saw it like on the Dow Jones, that might have convinced her, you know? Yes, unfortunately for her, yes, she's going to be left behind. Nah, she won't. Well, she won't own any, but nope, I got enough Bitcoin for both of us, sister. Don't worry. I'll throw her a Bitcoin one of these days. Anyway, she makes more. She may, she, you know, She's loaded. She's the rich one I was telling you about, right? Uh, I have two sisters. I have one who's rich with a big house, fucking basketball court in her backyard, all this kind of stuff. And then I have another one who's more street smart. <laughs> all right, let's let's move on, though. Bang! Singapore Stock Exchange lists crypto indices for first time. Singapore Exchange has never listed Bitcoin and Ethereum indices before, but they are going to now. So, bang! Here it is, brothers and sisters. Here they come. Here they come. Here come the exchanges all around the world. Yeah, they know now. Look, once the American... Look, India came online. That was beautiful. That was a thing of beauty. True, true. But let's get real. Once the OCC gave that announcement that all American banks will now custody crypto, all of them, <laughs> yeah, that was it. That was the signal. That was the true signal. I mean, well, for these kind of guys, I mean, the true signals was when Bitcoin was just regulated in America. You should have known by then. But if you were waiting or you had any doubt, well, you have no doubt anymore. You don't have any doubt now that OCC did that with the banks. Here comes America. And so look, if you want a piece of the action, you better get in. <laughs> and that's what they're doing. So, you know, uh, man, this is such a beautiful thing. All right, so let me get a sip and then we'll move on. You know, Singapore wants to be a tech hub of Asia, right? They're building this whole little tiny, kind of like little mini city. Uh, just for tech people. And they're even building their own airport just for the tech people to come to work. Right? We read about that. Right? It was called something, something economic zone or something like that, right? Singapore or digital economic zone or something. And this is what I love. Singapore Stock Exchange is listing crypto indices. It's the first it's done so, but this is the part that I love. The indices could be used by institutions creating complex financial instruments. That's what we need, financial instruments, uh, investment vehicles, right? Like I told you, you know, we have a nation of champions list right here. Here in America, or sorry, here on Cryptocurrency Blockchain News, there are com countries that already regulated crypto. Malaysia, Thailand, Jamaica, Philippines, Indonesia, Bahrain, Switzerland, Pakistan, France, Finland, Liechtenstein, China, Uzbekistan, St. Saint Kitts and Nevis, and India all have regulated their crypto. I don't know, but India, I should, I don't know if we should keep it on the list, but, right? But they don't have what? They're not releasing fucking financial instruments, right? which is something I complained about last year, in that, all right, well, you guys are regulated. Like, well, when are your whales going to start coming out with ETFs? When are your guys going to start coming out with swaps and options and, and different investment financial instruments for this space, right? Anyways, but these are the beginnings. This is the beginnings, all right? All right, so check it out. As Singapore mulls over cryptocurrency regulation, Singapore Stock Exchange today announced the listing of its first ever cryptocurrency. Who? Buy the Singapore Stock Exchange, the real one, the real exchange. <clears throat> like I said, not Bittrex, Bitmax, Wobi, all this crap, but the real deal. It's going mainstream now. Oh, yeah. 
Keep those going mainstream, folks. Buckle up. <laughs> buckle up, fuck sticks. Accumulate and buckle up. Look, look. Because this ride's about to jump off. Per partnership with Crypto Compare, a UK based cryptocurrency benchmarking site, Singapore Exchange, SGX, is listing two crypto indices through its four year old SGX iEdge index suite the iEdge Bitcoin index and the iEdge Ethereum index. Bah! There you go. There you go. Right on the stock exchange. Bah! <laughs> Singapore Stock Exchange. Beautiful thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, brothers. Sisters. Yeah, man, here comes our money. Like, here it finally comes. Uh, countries around the world are starting to... Uh, well, well, they're starting to list. Well, well, first of all, hold on. Let me, let me, let me put it this way. <laughs> let me say something like this. Uh, their citizens have been allowed to nibble around and nibble around with all these little crypto things that we use, right? Binance, Huobi, Coinbase, all that. But yeah, those are people like us, right? Like, well, there's two types of people here. There's crypto maximalists. I'm sure some of you are. You think soccer mom and dad are one day going to buy coffee with crypto. And then there's other guys like me. We're just market killers who just see that, oh, fuck. You know, we're just going to make a ton of money at this rate. So we come here, right? And that's the, wait, what was I trying to get the point I was trying to take, make, tell you here? And, oh, yeah, right, 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 right. Remember, we're, we're the beginning. We're the first. Not the first. I mean, the first guys are way back in 2009, 2011 when my buddies were doing it. But uh, we're the first of the, you know, what? I like to look at the crypto space as this. From 2009 to 2017 was like the total maximalist, totally just crypto freak guys like my buddy with the mining rigs and shit like that. Right. Um, but then after 2017, now you get into the you get into the retail investor mode and what i like to call the you know crypto at the beginning was bitcoin ethereum litecoin and then just a bunch of white paper right and then 2018 and then all last year we started getting main nets and now this year we are doing it right the the, the crypto guys are doing it they're actually, their main nets, their networks, their blockchains are actually being used, right? So we went from, right, just Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, like that on the, you know, blockchains like that to white paper, white paper, white paper time in 2018. And then in 2018, near the end, we started getting some main nets coming online, Tron, uh, VeChain came online 2018, uh, was it iota you know there was a few that actually started doing their work and then uh last year 2019 wait wait wait. yeah last year 2019 was main nets main nets main nets onboardings 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 and now uh it's a free-for-all of we're all past the main net stage now uh who have you fucking onboarded right like there's no more excuses i don't give a fuck about your little you know, where, Ripple, where are the banks? <laughs> you know what I mean? <clears throat> you know, Garlinghouse could talk shit for a long time. Yeah, yeah, we're going to be the banking thing. We're going to be the banking thing. Okay, so you give it time. All right, well, it didn't work. You failed. You failed, you fuckstick. It's 2020 now. Uh, over halfway through the year and you already failed. We're almost in Q4. And so, you know, now we're seeing the who, which blockchains actually work. The chain, chain link. Uh, Stellar Iota, Singularity Net. And then we see the blockchains that are about to work. Uh, Cardano, Tron finally. D Tron works. I'm, I'm just being a dick. I'm being a dick. Tron does work, but finally getting into some DeFi and some adult behavior <laughs> over there. Let's make some money over there, you fuck sticks. Dag on with the dag on gambling. All right. And then we see the failures. Ripple. Ripple, right? Failure. You know, supposed to be the big banking, didn't work. Supposed to be the remittance thing, 
Well, all the biggest remittance company in the world said, this is a piece of dog shit. So it's a failure, right? And, uh, you know, now you, uh, and so, and, and then, so that, that was that. And then now we are into the launching stage. In other words, now, bye, we're seeing whole countries now getting real with it. You know what I'm saying? Getting real with the crypto. Um, getting real with the distributed ledger technology. Um, right? Uh, putting it on the real stock exchanges. Right? The real deal. Right? Bang! Singapore, the real deal. And, uh, and you know, what, what I, I want to tell you this about what's interesting, right? About I, I'm so excited about what's happening in Europe. Because Europe, the Europeans are going to come out with their stuff this month, they said. And what's so interesting is that, you know, they're going to be the first major economy to just fully cryptoize their space, right? The UK, Japan, America, Canada, Australia, and that, Brazil, uh, South Africa, China. <clears throat> you know, Europe is going to be the, the first one to do it. And like I said, this is a copycat world. You know, I used to always say this back in 2018. Look, guys, this is a copycat world. As soon as one guy gets approved for his ETF, all right, well, everyone's just going to do that. Like, uh, <laughs> And that's the same. Once Europe comes out with their definitions, remember, that's what we're waiting for. That's all we're waiting for. Here in America, that's all we're waiting for, definitions. What is this shit? What is my V-chain? Is it a commodity? Is it a property? Is it a, a stock? What? What? What is it? Right? I believe it's a stock, personally. Uh, and, um, uh, you know, it, this is all just a beautiful thing, right? Here we are. Like, here we go. Like, on real exchanges. All right, so look. The indices track the prices of the sick cryptocurrencies. The listing on Singapore Stock Exchange makes it easier for investors to keep tabs on the prices of Bitcoin and Ethereum, which rank first and second by market capitalization, respectively. Crypto indices are not crypto exchange traded funds. <laughs> Only they emphasized it, or ETFs. Whereas an index tracks a selection of assets, ETFs allow investors to buy shares in a stock that mirror the price of the underlying asset. Derivative mirrors the price of the underlying asset. I taught you about that on Saturday. A derivative, derivative, derives its value from the price of the underlying asset. So they're not that, like Bitcoin. So if a Singaporean business wants to create a product <clears throat> or investment vehicle, buy, that's what we need, investment vehicles around Bitcoin or Ethereum, the indices would help verify the price, price discovery. Price discovery. In other words, if you're new here, you know, in the markets, you have to have what's called price discovery. Price discovery is um, you know, what does the market think the actual fair value of this asset is? And so uh let's look at an example. Price discovery. So um Price discovery. What do we do? So, like a, a fucking futures contract, right? All right, a futures contract has an asset, and you're deriving the value of your contract from the the price of the asset. Yeah, but where do you get the price of that asset? That's discovery. Where you, do you discover the price? Where do you get it from? Right? Because you can look at a, you can look at something on like uh, Coinbase. A Bitcoin might be. I don't know. Let's look at the price of Bitcoin for a second. Just, I'm just making this up right now. Okay, I'm gonna. Well, I'm not making up what I'm telling you, but I'm just gonna show you something. All right, hold on. So Bitcoin right now. What is this shit? All right, so eleven thousand eight hundred ninety nine bucks. Let's just call it twelve thousand dollars. All right, just so I can do some math. And um, so on Coinbase, the price of Bitcoin might be twelve grand, but on some other exchange, it might be. $11,950, so $50 cheaper. 
And so that's price discovery. So uh, these products that gain their price from the underlying asset, the derivatives, well, where are you getting your price? Right? That's the problem with uh, here in America. The SEC, right, won't give the Winklevoss kids or any of these fucksticks, uh, these kind of guys, uh, an ETF. They won't approve a, a Bitcoin ETF here in America. Yeah, because they keep saying that the price can be manipulated. Right? In other words, price discovery. Uh, because the price is what... Uh, hold, on, hold on, let me say this properly. You know, so, you know, an investor buys a, a futures con. So here's the futures contract and here's the Bitcoin. He buys the futures contract. Yeah, and if price discovery is faulty, well, he could lose a bunch of money, right? Uh, or, or, or what the SEC is afraid of. People can manipulate the price of the Bitcoin and, you know, fuck with the futures con. Or sorry, 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 not futures. ETF, exchange traded fund. Um, price, right? And so you have to have reliable price discovery. All right. And, um, you know, so how they get around that is um, on our, here in America, the CME, we have, um, what do you call them? Bitcoin futures contracts, right? On the CME. Yeah. And their price discovery is discovered from four exchanges. They take the price of Bitcoin from four exchanges aggregate it you know find the average and that's the price yeah the sec is not allowing that right <laughs> assholes anyways man so but all right so let's just hold on i went into a whole other thing so but once we get true price discovery um well here in america what what our regulators think is worthy of price discovery man we're gonna be booming we're gonna be booming but what the beauty is, is Europeans are coming online. Yeah, they're going to have all those rules. Yeah, how many exchanges do you need for price discovery? How much custody do you have to have? Well, not custody, but what you can custody. How much insurance you have to have, have, to have everything. Here come the big dogs, right? Here come the big dogs. Here come the government and the big dogs. And like I said, these exchanges... That's where you're going to get your crypto in the future. That's where soccer mom and dad are going to get crypto in the future. This mass adoption shit. The, your mass adoption shit that you crypto folks talk about. Wanting soccer mom and dad to magically wake up one day and magically <laughs> wake up one day and magically decide to buy coffee with crypto. That's never going to happen. But they will dag on invest in it. And that is going to happen. I'm telling you that. That is going to happen. And uh, that's from stuff like this. You know, the the big dogs realize that this is a viable asset class now. Yeah, it's viable. Yeah, VeChain's helping out people. IOTA's helping out. Uh, you know, onboardings, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's viable and it's real. Now the big dogs are going to come in and they're going to take over the space. I told you this in 2018. They're going to take over the space. And that's what's going to be beautiful. You know, it's going to be... Just like, just like how the NASDAQ here in America, all of our stock, all of our tech stocks are kind of on the NASDAQ, right? Yeah, well, one of these, one of these guys, New York Stock Exchange, NASDAQ, uh, something, they're going to be the crypto of, for America, the crypto exchange for America. We'll see. I, I mean, remember like and we read when we read the other day, the European Union. Yeah, they're coming out with their own crypto exchange, actually. So maybe America will do... I don't know about that. I mean, America is taking too long. I don't know what the fuck, but... Well, I know what the fuck, because we have incompetent leadership. That's what the fuck. But uh, Europe doesn't. And so they're going to have, you know, their own crypto exchange is what we read in that article, right? And so um, you can see that things are getting real now. You understand? Things are getting real. What do you mean, Jamal? Well, that's what I meant. All that that I talked meant things are getting real. All right. So look. As the world moves swiftly towards digitization and the creation of and accumulation of wealth, digital assets are increasingly being adopted by investors. Why not? Uh, 
said Simon Caravan, head of blah, blah, blah. Although the indices are moving forward, Singapore's central bank and financial regulator, the Monetary Authority of Singapore, is still working on how to regulate crypto. And so that's their problem. Uh, they're going to they're gonna put the Bitcoin and Ethereum on there, but yes, the rest of this, we're going to have to wait for regulation, just like here in America. Bitcoin and Ethereum are regulated here. You can do whatever you want. Yeah, you want to build up uh, Bitcoin swaps? Go for it. Ethereum options contracts? Go for it. Yeah, yeah. But that's all there is, and so we need more, and so all of it, right? So in early 2020, it enacted a policy requiring crypto exchange to obtain a license. Though in March, let some cryptocurrency companies, among them Binance, Coinbase, and Gemini, operate in the country for six months without them. Ah, oh, so they let Binance, Coinbase, and Gemini rock and roll. The point is, crypto's place in Singapore is very much a work in progress. But SGX's new indices could help financial institutions build crypto products when the dust settles. So, according to TradingHours.com, Singapore Exchange had a market cap of $585 billion. All right, hold on. Let's fuck all that. Look, CryptoCompare.com crypto indices appear on other stock exchanges. In 2017, the Stuttgart Stock Exchange started listing 10 indices, among them, for Ripple, IOTA, Zcash, and Monero. Bye! Oh, yeah, yeah. Let me tell you something, IOTA hodlers. Let me tell you something, IOTA hodlers. Yeah. Well, when they are about when they unleash Europe this month. Bye! So accumulate, accumulate, accumulate. Not much time left. Not much time left. Uh, and in January 2020, Crypto Compare worked with Japan's oldest brokers firm, Nomura. <laughs> Quantitative analysis company, intelligent unit, and index price. All right, fuck all that. Lock, lock, lock. Fuck. Look! What I want to show you is buy. First indices. Never listed. Bitcoin and Ethereum futures. Uh, uh, indices, sorry. Indices, not futures. And so um, there it is, guys. Uh, that's the beginnings. There's Singapore, right? And then buy. There's Switzerland, Germany, Austria. Now the real exchanges are starting to interact with the crypto space. And, uh, well, like I told you, I mean, they're going to take this place over. Uh, and, um, well, in terms of the trading and the investing and all that, everyone wants regulated and everything, right? Uh, like I told you. And so, uh, bang, there you go. All right, let's move on. Bang. What do we got? Oh, look at her. The 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 the, the, the D Pact. All right, guys. So the D Pact. These Detroit icons have been on some of the most world renowned comedic stages. So I don't know. This is Lorna's friend. Ha <laughs> ha Lorna and her. They're buddies. And so I don't know. What are they? Comedians? I don't know. Comedians investing in crypto. Well, look, look, the deep pact. Finally, you finally got it. And she wanted a shout out. She said, I want a shout out too. I'm part of the family. So look, look, deep pact. I'm going to give you a special one tonight. Look, 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 deep pact. Bang! There you go. There you go, deep pact. <laughs> there you go. You got the shout out. Bang! Love you, girl. See you, girl. Bang! All right. Yes, yes. She wanted her piece of the bang. She said, hey, I want some bang. Hey, look, look, sweetie. You got to get over here and get on that Twitter then. You get some bang. <laughs> there you go. We got it. Bye. All right. Hey, drop it, son of a bitch. Look, look, bye. Look, look, bye. Look, look, bye. Got you wrong, girls. <laughs> Here's Node Savior. Love for the team of the bang. Edwin, the original. Yes. Heart of the jungle, heart of the jungle. Larry with the brother. Bye. But they didn't work from home for now, so. Yes. What's this, Luke? Yeah, there he is. Luke. <laughs> Larry with the brother. Bye. Been him talking about. Been him yapping. What's he yapping about? Been him. Larry with the brother. Bye. What are you saying? TV News. What? Been him. 
Bitcoin and Ethereum. Oh, that's what we just talked about. Yeah, dag on right, BDM, dag on right, homeboy. Look, look, brother. Exactly. Now we're going to real exchanges, right? Like away from this, uh, I don't know, I guess a little startup exchange stuff. And now, 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 now the pros are going to take over, you know, now the pros are going to take over this space. So look, look, that's how we like it. That's how we need it. Fuck. What's Biddy talking about here? See me news. All synths are now powered by Chainlink. Decentralized oracles. Whoops. Sorry, sorry, sorry. All right. Well, all right, I guess that's some other shit to talk about this week then. <laughs> Bye. Thank you, Binim. What do we got here? Abraham Odesai followed me. Abraham Odesai, lawyer at New Heights Immigration Com. Hmm? Immigration lawyer. I also run New Height New Heights States dot com. Property investment expert, mortgage advisor, business coach, books. Urgh. Well, Abraham, when we all get rich, we might need to know how to get some of that dang on property. Stick around, brother. Look, look. Let me the cheap of the back. Back. There you go. Oop, get out of here. All right. Look, look. Hurricane my style. He's air dropping something. Love the Ziba though. Bye. We air dropping. <laughs> this is what we used to always put. Like, hey, great project. Blah blah blah. Hold on. Let's see air dropping. Let's just take a peek, guys. Urine protocol. Win ten thousand new iPhone eleven pro. Eight Ethereum on this on this airdrop. Okay. Bye. All right. All right. Well, bye. Let's do that. There's the D packed again. Oh, she liked two of my tweets. Oh, she made sure her fucking name was banged tonight. <laughs> yeah, she was like, look, look, I'm getting banged tonight. Look, black mama, let me see with the bar. Ben him. What are you talking about, Ben him? Oh, that's the one we just did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the new RSK integration. Bang. Oh, there's Kong. Whoop. There's Kong and a fatty, the usual. Greatest show of the multiverse, brothers. Look, look. Chainlink on boards RSK. Boom! BTC listed in Swiss, Switzerland, Germany, Austria. Look, look, pay eight. Boom! And Singapore lists crypto indices. Boom! Look, look. Boom! That's how it goes down, brothers. That's how your portfolio is going to look. Not much longer now. Not much longer now. All right. Oh, wait. I didn't even give Kong the bang. Look, look, Kong. Wow. Let me see with the bot. There we go. Yes. You know, I love some piggy wiggy. Yes. I got, got sucked into the piggy. Look, look. Hawk and Samurai. Let me see with the bot. Edward Dicko and the Dicko family. Family the cryptos together. Stays together. Ha <laughs> ha. Let me see the back. Native warrior. Here. Oh, oh, Pasquayaki tribe member. Look, look, Pasquayaki. Dagon V-Chain. Look, look, Dagon Iota Link 88. Hold a life. Look, look. Oh, ladies, Pasquayaki boys. Oh, yeah. They're coming to take the country back. Come and take the country back. They just need some money and some weapons. Look. Go get it, brothers. Let me see the back. And then here's the chief of the tribe. Ha <laughs> ha. Chief. Bebezo. V chain master. Bang. V chain hodler. Bang. V chain killer. Yes. Look, look, chief. Love, love you, chief. See you, chief. Bang. Chief of the tribe. Well, that's an honor to speak to the chief, fuckstick. Best recognized, boy. Oh. Best recognized. What we got here? They like to tweet us mentioned in. We got Poppy Wood. Let me see with the Bollywood. Oh, yeah. One of the originals from where, about? You turned into a, a, a total Tron lover, but bye. Still love him. He's going to be DJing at our Noah Fest. So look. All right. What do we got? Cred to enable in-app staking through Clever Wallet. Well, all right. 
good for a cred. Good. Bye. So they're they're partnering. That's a little sort of a little partnership right there. Good stuff. Yeah, yeah. Tron's finally waking up. Fucking Justin's son's finally growing up. Fucking kid had all these flipping gambling games and just video games, Monopoly and stupid shit on his fucking blockchain. You go through all that, all that fucking effort to build a blockchain, and that's what you do with it, man, kid. Come on, man. Anyway, I'm glad to see this. Fucking, uh, uh, fucking, he's he's starting to do some, uh, well, DeFi. Uh, I told you, banned. Maybe I should read that tomorrow. Banned protocol. And uh, Tron have teamed up. That's good. That's the good stuff. That's this kind of stuff, Justin Sun, that your fucking blockchain should be doing, Dagon. Fucking little motherfucker. Made me sell my shit. But well, we might be friends again soon. <laughs> yeah. Keep up the good work. All right. Is that everybody? Where are we at? Oh, and here's this thing. Oh, that's right. So, CB News. Yes, Poppywood. The BTC equivalent of Tron Network Sun features zero venture capital investment, zero private equity investments, no pre mining or reserves for the team. And operated by the community. So this is, he's kind of doing his own little Bitcoin. Whoops, I read about this earlier, actually. He's kind of doing his own little Bitcoin thing. Whatever, man, we'll see about all that. Thabo followed me. Thabo, live with the bye. Yes. Where's Edward Dicko? Who's this? Obed Barami followed me. Tech enthusiasts. Yes. Bye. Love you guys. Hakem Yusail followed me. Holy, all manner of followers this week. I must have said something good on Saturday. <laughs> I don't know what I said, but I should probably say it again, Dagon. Get more followers. All right. Hakem Yusail. Let everybody see you with a bang. Look, look, Lorna. Lorna Downs. Let your girl see you, girl. Bang. You're sloppy. Let everybody see you, brother. Bang. Holding down Toronto. Mr. Percy, oh, you changed your shit? What is that? I got to look at that later. Live by the Zeeb with a bang. Sonny B, live by the Zeeb with a bang. Oh, just all manner of miscreants. Okay, I see, I see. My bad, my bad. I didn't notice we'd, we'd gathered them all here. Look, look, Daryl Duran, live by the Zeeb with a bang. Usual miscreants there. Papa Doc, let him be the Zebra the Bot. Deep Entertainment, Soul Brother. <laughs> let him be the Zebra the Bot. All right, let's get some fucking Forex. Bot, look, look, Bot, look, look. Holy, oh, look at this shit. So, Bot. All right, all right, all right. Let's just get real about it. All right, so this is the shit I was in. Uh,. Well, that was last week. So remember last week, I was like, oh, I missed that one. But then I got in that bang right there. Look at the bang from last night to tonight. Now I missed it. So I'm not going to lie to you. Like I always tell you guys, I don't lie to you. I could sit here and just tell you, yeah, man, I took that trade and bullshit you. You'd never know if I did or not. If I never lie to you guys. I don't have to. I'm a fucking market killer. Look. You can see that. And so, but I missed this. Look at this move. And right now it is 12.06 in the a.m., so about 3, well, 3 a.m., the market really starts kicking off. And so I'm assuming we're going to get a little retrace and then another bang. We'll see. And then I was in this one, too, last week. Same one. You guys remember? If you don't remember, go back to the videos and you can see them. I showed them to you so you can see that you're actually talking to a real investor, not just some fucking idiot. <laughs> uh, there it is, man. And so last night. Bang, and then bang again today, right now. So the New Zealand dollar seems to be blasting off. Oh, look at this New Zealand dollar against the yen. Remember this trade last week I took? Yeah, yeah, look at it now. Boom. Let's see what the New Zealand dollar is doing against the U.S. dollar. All right, so it's starting. It's, it's starting to make a move. So 
Uh, so I'll probably be attacking the US, the, the New Zealand dollar this week. Oh, look at that Canadian dollar. Hold on. Oh, no, retrace. My bad, my bad. All right, all right. I got a little hype there. I got a little hype. <laughs> Australian dollar going down against the U.S. dollar. Um, I think that's a retrace. Yeah, that's a retrace to the four, to the four hour, and then we'll get... Um, so it's gonna it's went up, it's gonna retrace and then bah take off probably. Let's see the Euro JP oh it didn't do it. Okay. So anyways, and then let's look at the trend scanner. Ah, okay. So you can see hmm. Right, New Zealand dollar is kicking everyone's ass. Um here's the can you guys see this or is it behind my head? All right, hold on. Let me move my head over. Fuck. Bang. All right, there we go. All right, so you can see that the New Zealand dollar... Whoops. Shit, hold on. Sorry. All right. Who are we at here? Are we at? Australian dollar down against New Zealand dollar. New Zealand dollar up against the yen. New Zealand dollar up against the Swiss franc. New Zealand dollar up against the European uh, euro. Yeah, so the New Zealand dollar is kicking some ass. That's probably what I'm going to attack the markets with tonight. And uh, we shall see. We'll see tomorrow. I mean, if I decide to attack the markets, I mean, I'm not saying I'm going to trade for sure, but just I might. All right, so look, let's get back to crypto. Bye. Is that where we are? There we are. Wait, did I show you? Did you guys see that? I hope so. All right, so. Uh, what was that? DB Entertainment, love with the Z with the bang. All right. Oh, one more subscriber or follower. I guess they're called followers here and subscribers in YouTube. Whoops, what happened there? Anthony Luna. Let me see with the bar. We got Alejandro Sainz. Let me see with the ass. Oh, the ass wrangler. Yeah, we did you on Saturday. Anyway, bye. Hope you wrangled some ass this weekend. <laughs> All right, that's enough, man. That is enough. And there she is again. Let me give her one more because she wanted it. Look, look, D-Packed. Love you, girl. Bye. See you, girl. Look, look. Bye. There you go. Bang. There you go. <laughs> All right. All right. And then let's get back to. Bye. Let's get back to the Death Star. All right. So, guys, we had a great show for you today. Holy man. And I have so much more to talk about this week. I already have more onboardings. Daggone. Daggone, but I wanted to... All right, so let's just go... Th let's just do this in order. Chainlink onboards RSK, risk. Or ri RSK, I guess it's not called risk. RSK for that side chain thing. And so, blah, blah, blah. You know, the usual Chainlink onboarding. Um, But what's good about this onboarding is that it, it's not it, just that price feed shit, right? Not shit, not shit. I mean, you need price discovery. Price discovery is a... <laughs> it's a vital key uh, thing of the market. I mean, so I'm not dissing, but I'm just saying that I want them to provide more data than just price feeds, than just price discovery, but other stuff. And so, like I told you, this RSK thing, they're actually going to be providing Internet of Things data. They're going to be providing, um, there's this other data out there, um, like just a bunch of other data. So it's not just the price discovery thing, right? Which is for the DeFi stuff, right? Chainlink keeps giving these guys, the DeFi guys, the prices, the price discovery. All right, great, great, great. But like I told you, I don't, I'm oh, sorry, let me find my lighter here. I don't think DeFi is going to be around. Uh, I don't think it's going to be a big thing. Let me, let me put it that way. DeFi is going to be around. But it'll be for like super crypto maximalist type people to use. Like soccer mom and dad using DeFi? Nah, nah, I don't see that. And so that's why I want to see Chainlink providing data to blockchains other than just this price data stuff. Um, you know, for this DeFi space. You know, I'm invested in, you know, as I've told you, my portfolio is built for the long term. You know, like all the, all the, all the, assets in my portfolio all those distributed ledger technology providers that i've invested in 
Well, I expect them to last, right? Like B Chain, I expect, you know, B Chain and IOTA, yeah, those are going to be your fucking Microsoft and fucking Apple of this space. You know, like I, I'm invested for stuff for the long term, right? For the killer, like the full kill. You know, I, I'm going to be taking money out of this market for years and years and years and years to come <laughs> as my as my assets just grow and grow and grow in value. Yeah, I'll take out a million here, put in a Forks account. Yeah, I'll take out a million here, buy some property. Yeah, I'll take out a million here, buy a plane. But I'll still have more assets. They're going to continue to grow. Like, And that's what this channel is about. That's what I keep trying to do with, with you guys. Like, So that we get fast ROR, ROR rate of return, right? In other words, when the tsunami arrives, bye, we're going to get rich fast. But... You're not going to use all that. I mean, I don't know what you're going to do with your money, but I'm not going to just be taking it all out all at once. Why would I do that? It's still going to keep rising forever, right? And so I'm going to take out what I need, right? Uh, like I said, a million dollars in my Forex account, that's plan number one. Once I've got a million dollars in my Forex account, all right, fuck stick, I'm going to be making 20 grand a day trading Forex. Easy, easily, like not even, it's not even going to be an effort, <laughs> It's going to be all too easy. And so, but once that happens, all right, well, there's going to still be a bunch of millions left. All right, well, and then I'll decide what the fuck I'm going to do with that shit. I mean, I don't need it. I'll probably give some to my sister. Fucking, I don't know, do something. I don't know, something. We'll figure out what to do with it, right? Uh, the goal is the million at first. And so, um, why am I why am I bringing up my thing? Why do we where do we get here? Anyways, let's just get back to Chainlink. Why did we get Chainlink to my portfolio? Oh, Shamari, the fuel, the daggone fuel. <laughs> All right, guys. But Chainlink holders, you guys are going to be rich. Oh, and that's what I was telling you. Yeah, you're going to be rich like and so, you know, oh, I was just giving you a general Talk. Okay, I was just yapping. It's just Shamari yapping. All right, the usual. And so, right, your portfolios. Oh, that's right. I was telling you about this channel. And so, you, if you, for those of you who've been on this channel for a while, obviously your portfolios should be filled with working product. Fortune 500 companies. Well, part. Uh, sorry, sorry. Everything in your portfolio should have an onboarding of a Fortune 500 company. Or, or something to that equivalent, or a government contract, you know, major government contract, right? Uh, yeah, they you can't lose, right? You can't lose, and that's what I'm telling you. Like, and you're about to get rich, and when you do, right? Well, you're not going to take it all out and I, at once, and so why am I saying all this anyway, man? I don't know how I got into that, guys. I'm <laughs> sorry. Let's just get, let's just do our stories. Chainlink onboards RSK. So, okay, let's start from the beginning. Uh, so another another great onboarding for Chainlink. Uh, Zeus Capital, who's trying to short Chainlink. Hey, <laughs> you guys are fucked up. I have two more Chainlink onboardings already right now to tell you guys. And so uh, Chainlink holders uh, accumulate, accumulate, accumulate. In my opinion, I don't tell a man what to do with his money, but in my opinion, wouldn't hurt. All right, finally, bang. So that's that one. And then Bitcoin ETP listed on the Swiss, German, and Austrian exchanges. And so, like I said, it's one ETP. So that was one ETP, but what's going on over there in Europe? That's the beauty of what I want to show you. That's what we're going to get. Um, you know, our, that's where it's coming from. That, oh, sorry, sorry. Let me just fucking talk. But settle down. We need institutional money as the catalyst for us to get rich. And it looks like that catalyst is going to come out of Europe. It looks like Europe's are going to be the first movers to bring us our money. Sure, sure, China's building blockchain and all that. But that's not going to give us our money. Unless you let the Chinese citizens buy our shit. Well, it really doesn't fucking matter. Um, 
And that's what the beauty of the European Union thing is. Yeah, their citizens are about to buy this shit. They're about to come out with a centralized fucking crypto exchange, they said, right? Like I said, I was talking to Airdropper007. I told him, I, I, I hope they come out with a cool name, like, uh, you know, Euro Crypto X or something. Just, I don't know what, but. Um, but. Um, uh, so it, so I want to say that. I want to I point that out, is that it looks like Europe is going to be the first mover in this space that to bring us our money, their institutions. Like, they're giving us the full gamut. They're giving us the full deal is what they say that's what they say they're gonna do and europeans tend to follow through <laughs> competent leadership unlike some countries united states fuck we got this fucking moron here um but uh we're not worried about this moron we're worried about europe and getting that money and so um as you can see the swiss the german and the austrian exchanges have already listed this particular btc etp Bitcoin ETP, and uh, well, and so that's an investment vehicle. Well, when someone comes out with an IOTA ETP, look, yes, now you understand. When they come out with a V chain ETP, look, <laughs> holy, look, look. You see what I'm saying, guys? When they come out with a chain link ETP, and that's what Europe's going to do. I mean, Europe, Europe, Europe. Oh, and this is another thing I want to say. So what I should say is also like this, is that Europe said they're going to come out with their rules and everything, their rules and regs this month. So I think that we can look at Europe as the template for the world. They're the first ones. They're, they're going to be the first, right? The first to do the full, the first major economy to do the full, you know, China didn't, China said we love blockchain, but they didn't do that, the full, right? Their citizens still can't buy this. America said, yeah, we're going to let our banks just custody it, but you still haven't defined it. You still haven't defined the cryptocurrencies, the distributed ledger technology coins. So our institutions can't get it. European Union institutions are coming, and they are going to be able to get it. Because what? Europe is going to define what these are, and I think that's going to be a template. Where I'm excited to see what is Europe going to call my fucking V-chain? <laughs> yeah, what, what are you going to call it? Is it a security? Is it a commodity? Is it a property? How are they going to define it, right? And I think that'll be the template for the world. Once the Europeans come out with their definitions and their tax regimes and blah, blah, blah around this crypto space, uh, I told you it's a copycat world. So, okay, if I'm fucking, I don't know, Chile, if I'm the country of Chile, I just say, fuck, I'll just do what the Europeans did. Right, it's nice and easy. You don't have to go through all the, all the, you know. Let's assess the situation. Let's do it. Ah, they already did that, so let's just copy them. And so, that's how I want to tell you. Like, you're going to be rich real soon. Um, your 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 crypto is gonna fly. Well, it already did. I mean, just in the past couple of months, we've been flying a little bit, haven't we? And so, but that's nothing compared to what we're gonna get. Shmoor, man, we're a two two cents chain link, or, or sorry, two chain two cents V chain. Look, fuckstick, my price target is a dollar. We got a long way to go, but it's going to come. That's the whole point. Like, yeah, I made, I I think I'm up, I think I'm up like $45,000 on my, my, my V chains. Yeah. You, you think I'm selling that? I'm waiting for millions. Don't be a weak hand just because you get a little pocket change in your hands and, and then go sell your stuff. I know the bills, the bills, I know the bills, the wife, the kids. And I mean, I don't know. I don't have a wife and kids and I don't have bills, but I mean, just I can imagine. And so, but just stay strong with me, brother. Stay strong. One dollar V chain. That's what we're taking that money out. I know you're going to see your fucking money rolling. You're seeing it rolling already a little bit, but. um, What do we. All right. Here's your girl. Here's. So, so here's your wife right here. Johnny, Johnny, you're Johnny. Johnny, because so the story when I was when I back in <laughs> back in 2018 we we're in a crypto bloodbath. So your wife was talking a little different. Johnny, you ain't making any money off this crypto. Well, now her fucking voice has changed. The tone has changed. Now it's Johnny, 
man, Johnny, you're making so much money off the crypto. Man, you're so smart. I knew I had a good husband. Yeah, yeah, all right. You didn't think that two years ago. <laughs> Johnny, you've been making a lot of money off the crypto now. Let's cash it in and let's just have a good life. Nah, you see? We can See that? We can Nah, you got to tell her, look, look, sweetie. You know the words, brothers. <laughs> Now's not the time. Look, now it's not the time to be cashing in my daggone beach and my Iota. When I got the Europeans coming, sweetie, look, now it's not the time. But Johnny, you've made so much already. Why don't we just get a new kitchen and a bathroom and, and let's just enjoy our life together. Look, look, we are enjoying our life together, so settle down first of all. If you're not enjoying it, well, fuck off. <laughs> just kidding, don't say that to her. But, but, <laughs> I would. Look. Uh, join, all right, well, get out of here. I don't, I'm not holding hostage. Fuck. Now, sweetie, it's not the time. Not when I have Bitcoin ETPs being listed on the Swiss, German, Austrian exchanges. Now's not the time. Now's not the time when I've got the Singapore exchange. Bang! Listing crypto indices. That's not the time, sweetie. Get out of here. Go paint your toenails. Bang! Right? This is it, guys. This is, we are... You know, it, 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 it's finally beginning to happen, right? Everything that we've talked about on this channel for fucking fuck, two years, two and a half, two years, eight months. <laughs> it's finally beginning. It's finally beginning. So Bitcoin need to be listed on Swiss, German, and Austrian exchange. Bye. And Swiss, German, and Austria. That's all good, but I can't wait until the European Union comes with their full regs rules and regs and this whole space is open and that that's what i was saying when we look back on this five ten years from now we're gonna always remember zuckerberg and xi jinping might have scared people to get the regs going but who launched the regs first the full rules and regs and everything and the centralized exchange dag on european union all right and then finally <clears throat> Singapore exchange lists crypto indices. Bang! Oh, like I said, everyone's in a race now, right? Uh, uh, the momentum has built. The explosion has happened. And uh, the reality of the situation... <laughs> yes. The reality of the situation is set into the minds uh, of, the, of the hedge fund guys. Shit, this asset class is real. How am I going to get my piece? Because they remember the dot-com bubble days. Bang! <laughs> bang! 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 Ah, you don't want to be left behind. You don't want to be left behind. There's too much money in this space. There's too much potential money in this space to not have your you not have your foot in up. All right. No, not put your toe in here. At least get a little piece. I mean, I, look, look, I'm balls deep in. I'm balls deep in, and I'm sure you are too. And these guys are going to bring us our money. So look. Is that it? Um, okay. And so, like I said, like, that is the, these are, right, the real exchanges. Like I said, BitMEX, Bittrex, all that. Um, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. But um, like I said, when we have. I don't know, maybe the NASDAQ will do crypto here. I don't know, for our country, uh, the Europeans are building their own exchange for the whole European Union, for every country to use it. So uh, that's the reality of what's going to go going forward. These countries are going to make real, regulated, licensed proper exchanges just like your new york stock exchange and they're not going anywhere right they're going to be for real like like ford motor company how old is ford it's almost 100 years old right yeah they've had their shares on what the new york stock exchange for almost 100 years that's how this space is going to be here forever baby well i mean unless some sort of tech comes out that blows these blockchains away or something and then we'll see but 
That ain't happening anytime soon, so. You are going to be rich. All right, so look, man. That was a lot of yap yap there. So, holy, it's already 1230. All right, guys. Don't worry, I'll start getting these out earlier on the day they're supposed to. All right, so look. Let's uh, shill it and kill it. Let's get you back to your wives and lives. So subscribe below. Press the bell. You get an automatic notification when I do the show. Greatest show on earth. Greatest show. In the multiverse. Look, my name's Shamari. Bye. Love talking money. Look, look. Love talking crypto. Favorite time of my day. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully a lot earlier. Or I guess it'll probably be still today. Uh, but just at a decent time. And I'll see you guys then. So until then, subscribe here. Boom. Watch that video here. Bang. And I'll see you guys tomorrow or a later day. My name is Shamari Clark. Bang. Always watching our money. Always on duty. Yes. Bang. Yes. Over and out.